currently having a poop off with this guy. You alright over there? Guess he doesn't want to talk to her in this time. So it's day 16, I think. Feeling good. Coughed most of the night last night. I ran too, so I think that had something to do with it. Currently sitting in the parking lot of Food Lion. Well, you can't see Food Lion. <laughs> Darn it. But uh, the car won't start, so I'm just <laughs> sitting here eating caramel popcorn and dreaming about being home watching Entourage. But instead, I'm in the car eating popcorn. Fun stuff. Yeah, I had to have this popcorn. Been craving it all day. So I had Katie run me across the street and the car died. So, <laughs> kind of my fault. And Quasimodo is ringing the bells of Notre Dame over there. If you, if you can hear that. <laughs> I feel like the Grim Reaper is about to come take my soul. The guy in the car next to us looks like a mixture between a pedophile and uh, Geraldo, the news anchor. <laughs> I hope you can see him, Geraldo. Geraldo. <laughs> SOS! <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Not working. Why is someone coming to my rescue? I'm a damsel in distress! <laughs> in other news, I'm feeling good today. Tight chested, but that always happens. So, nothing new. Get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> go to the dollar store, and then go buy a parrot. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally a parrot story right there. Specifically parrots do. Parrot you. <laughs> when Hootie and the Blowfish plays, today is a good day. Being a good boyfriend, I'm waiting on Katie to try clothes. The day's been good. Had an epic blood sugar drop. Chipotle fixed it though. Not really tight chested now. Full, not tight chested. But feeling pretty good. Trying on more things while I sit in a giant fluffy chair. Just got out of seeing tribal seeds. It was epic. You need to Google tribal seeds right now. Do it. I'll wait. I'm still waiting. Uh, today was great. I was a little tight chested. When did we leave the house? Um, what? I have no idea. Was it? <laughs> it was around four or five. Okay. Around four or five. Left the house, uh, was tight chested, but didn't really bother me. It's getting to the point now to where I can just like plow through it. If I just cough really hard, get all the stuff moving, I'm good. <clears throat> if I sit around doing nothing, then I'm not good. Last night, got a little off schedule. Ended up falling asleep. Woke up around 1 o'clock and stuffed my face with Lay's barbecue potato chips and Chex Mix Muddy Buddies and took or can be around 1, 1 30 a.m. but nothing happened felt great so 
everything still seems to be going good. The concert tonight was brutally hot, but I didn't seem to sweat any more than I normally do. Uh, went to a restaurant before the concert, and it was super hot, and I uh, was very moist there. But since then, I've been good. So, or can be day. I have no clue what the day is right now. But whatever the day is, it's been good. I'm sweating to death. What's up, guys? It is 3 o'clock on Sunday, which is day 20. Uh, the past couple days, I got kind of slack with my updates as far as actually recording them. <clears throat> so I just put some random things in this video that will hopefully entertain you. But uh, on the Orcambi point, it's been uh, still pretty much all the same. <clears throat> the past probably two or three days, I've noticed a really heavy increase in junk production. Like I'm getting a ton of stuff moving. It kind of feels like the first week again. Uh, I've been waking up in the middle of the night having to do... Uh, treatments to loosen myself up because I wake up just so tight chested and can't breathe and can't sleep it's not it's not terrible it's not like the first week in terms of misery maybe it's just because that I know what to expect but you know things are still going good uh, tomorrow will be three weeks down on Orcambi and you know I don't I haven't really noticed other than the mucus production and the consistent tight chest in the evenings, I haven't noticed anything different about myself. Like, when I sweat, it's still salty. It's still pretty much the same. The only thing is maybe that it's not as, like I've said, it's not as grimy as the past. But as far as other things, like, my lungs feel the same. Tons of stuff feels the same. And, you know, for a lot of people, this, you know, it took this medicine months and months to kick in or really to see a difference. And so I'm not expecting anything quick. The people who, you know, are getting mad that they're not seeing results in like a week or two, y'all need to chill and calm down. Because if you think about this medication and what it does, and really scientifically and medically what it does, how can you really expect something like that to completely change your life in like a week or two? <clears throat> so, you know, I'm going to keep going the course. Uh, my doctor's appointment is on the 9th, so Wednesday. So we'll get to see where the lungs are. I think they'll probably be lower than the 86% that I blew the last time just because of the Orcambi and the tight chest and everything. And that, you know, it's in the evening, so that's usually when I get kind of tight chested. My appointment's in the evening, I mean. So uh, we'll see get all the blood work and all that done for it can be I'm sure and I'll let you guys know what's going on then but for the most part everything's par for the course having some pancreas trouble today it's feeling super inflamed and not very fun uh, like mild pancreatitis which I've had bouts with on and off so nothing new here it's not horrible pain so I know it'll just go away within a couple days so yeah, that's really about it. Life's been good. We can be. Everything's good. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you were entertained by some of the stupid things in this video. So yeah. Later.